The pandemic is casting a shadow over a slimmed-down Eurovision Song Contest this year. With last year's event cancelled, the much-anticipated 65th edition is being held in the Dutch city of Rotterdam. A COVID-19 scare kept rival delegations quarantined in their hotel rooms, ahead of the grand finale on Saturday. UK entry James Newman spoke to Reuters before he jetted off for the performance. We get tested constantly, obviously, and it's all um, COVID safe, social distancing and everything. And we're not allowed to leave the hotel at all unless we go into the arena. And then we get picked up and we're not allowed to travel with anyone else. So we get separately taken there. Um, and then, we, you know, in the arena, it's all totally kept separate and everything. Uh, and then you get you go back to the back to the hotel, so there's going to be a lot of uh, uh, room service orders. All 39 participating countries and their delegations are tested before they can enter the venue. Some 3,000 fans will be able to attend, making executive supervisor Martin Osterdahl hopeful it'll still be a show to remember. Luckily, we do have some audience, which is uh, which is great for the atmosphere. It's a uh, it's um it's a very restricted audience, so this kind of arena would normally have the maximum capacity of 15,000 and we're going to be 3,500, so uh, it's a lot less, but still, um, we hope that that will create a, uh, enough ambience. Even if physical numbers are small, the event usually draws a television audience of about 200 million. In case of problems on the night, all acts have taped backup performances. When we made the decision to, um, to try and unite everyone here in Rotterdam, we knew that the, the pandemic, unfortunately, would still be around. Uh, we're doing everything we can to minimize the impact of it, and we've done a lot of preparations before coming here with backup tapes and with you know, the live on tape backup that, we, that we, you probably know about that we introduced all the way back in September, uh, which was a home performance recorded in a home studio in order to guarantee that everyone would actually be able to take part in the contest. So, so we have several layers of, of, of backups in order to complete the contest. But of course, we want everyone to be live on stage if possible. Australia won't be physically present this year. Its performer can't get to the Netherlands due to travel restrictions. Current bookmakers' favourites include entries from France, Italy and Malta. Mm -hmm.